All right, we're, we're recording. All right, hey, happy Saturday, guys. Hope everybody is having a fantastic start to their weekend. I cannot believe that we are already at the end of the third month of this year. I mean, it is just nuts how time flies and people are popping ranks, big things are happening. This has been for me personally, I don't know about Kendra, but for me personally, this has been my biggest month I've ever had in five and a half years. So um, just amazing things happening. And I think that that just goes to show like we're not stagnant, right? This company is great growing guys we are in an amazing place and you joining us right now no please know that you are in the right place at the right time and things are going bananas right now and that is why we decided to jump on today to share with you how to smart sample effectively so most of you all know my story but just really quick for those of you who don't I started thriving about five and a half years ago and I felt absolutely nothing for the first nine days nothing for the first nine days it wasn't until the morning of day 10 that I woke up and went, wow, this stuff really works. And so for me, for five and a half years, sampling has never been a big motivator for me. I haven't wanted to put, take my product or my, you know, $72 to order six Thrive mail out credits um, and, and send them to people because what if they didn't feel it like me? I mean, I just felt like people just need to buy, but I also have a lot of 4Ks, 12Ks and 40Ks on this team who started with a sample. So I know that there, I knew in the back of my mind that there is a good way to sample. We all know corporate side of things, it's a smart thing to sample. It's just been a hard concept for me. And so Last Saturday, when they did the um, Super Saturday through Lavelle, I got to hear from Rachel's team and Rachel and Tiffany are dear friends of mine, but they, one of their gals, Becca Tucker, just blew me away. She is smart and she's articulate. And when she started sharing how she effectively samples, it was it changed my mindset. Five and a half years, guys. I've been talking, people have talked about sale for five and a half years, but Becca changed my mindset on that. And, and, you know, I, I posted that day, something in my stories that said something like, when you think you're the smartest person in the room, find a new room. So there's always time to learn, to grow. There's always opportunity to grow in this business. And there's always opportunity to change mindsets in this business. And mine was changed last Saturday. So I um, reached out to Tiffany and Rachel uh, and said, please, can I get an introduction with this Becca Tucker girl? Because clearly this girl's going places and I want to learn from her. So Becca was so gracious, you guys. She sent over all of her scripts that she uses. Kedra and I are like, this girl is amazing. And so um, when she so graciously said, yes, I will take 30 minutes out of my Saturday with my kids and my family to share on your team, I thought, wow, this is this is something special. So really, really excited for you guys to meet Becca, hear her story, and then for her to teach us how to smart sample effectively to have that massive success in the business. And then at the very end, Kendra and I are going to kind of talk to you about where we're going with our smart sampling promo that we are kicking off today. You won't want to miss that. So without further ado, Becca, can you hop on and just share your story real quick with us? First of all, wow. Thank you. <laughs> how can I not get excited after that? Right? <laughs> Such a gift. Um, well, thank you for inviting me. I love Thrive, so I get really excited about sharing Thrive. Um, so thank you for this gift. Um, so basically the way I view it and every morning, I just wake up with the mindset that life, li life's a party. Like I feel so good every day because of Thrive. Like I'm just so excited to share that. I want everyone to feel as great as I do. And Thrive, like the samples, they're just kind of like my party favor. So my, I go start with the mindset, but I go to my why, because that always fuels my how. My why is how can I help people today? How can I help them feel as good as I do right now? And how can I get them the best experience? So how do I do that? Well, I share daily. I share the benefits absolutely every single day consistently. Um, I always relate it to my personal life. I have three toddlers every single day. I am abundantly grateful for Thrive. <laughs> I have teething babies. I don't sleep eight hours and I post about it because it's real life. Um, I, also, I often call it my teething baby survival kit because every mama can feel that. Um, I also make offers though. I don't just post about benefits, but I try to relate it to people where they are right now and also let them know this is for you. It's not just for me, it's for you. And I do that. I have to make offers. I, and I say that all the time. 
let me get you started. And this is how. Um, and then when I go on to the benefit post, I always am direct and I say, let me, um, I'll say, do you want a sample? Let me get you a sample. How do I get you a sample? Please reach out. And I will always, in my reach outs, I always offer a sample. I constantly offer it. Just like if you're throwing a party and you have people over, you're gonna say, can I get you a drink? Are you thirsty? Can I get you a drink? And I will say, are you tired? <laughs> Let me get you a sample of what I can do for you. I do polls and my questions and my stories constantly. Um, I, I just, I'm always asking for information. Again, I'm busy, so I, this is really simple for me. And people always comment. They always want to give their opinion. So I usually list out benefits. I say, are you looking for energy? Are you looking for patience, weight loss, digestion? What is it that you're looking for? And I'll put that in a poll. And then when they respond to me, I will always return, meet their need. I will give them the same exact product. I do not actually customize samples by giving them a black label or an ultra. I always give people the same exact three steps to start off with. And then once they start taking it, then I will explain why. But right now, I don't wanna overwhelm them. I just want them to feel better. So I just make it simple. Okay, this is how Thrive can meet you where you are right now. And I always send the same product. Great. They said yes. They commented on my polls. I offered them a sample. Now they said yes. I will always make them a free account. That is my non negotiable. That is how I send a sample. So I just say, great. Can I please get your email address and your shipping address and a phone number? This is just how I send you samples and offers. And then I make their account and just shoot it over to them. There's no questions, no overwhelm, and we just move forward. The sample's on the way. Yes! Let me introduce you to my friends. They're fabulous people. You need to know them. And they have some awesome stories that you just cannot wait to hear. I start a four-way messenger thread. Um, I will pick two different thrivers. One will always be a leader. Um, any leader will do um, one that I think will personally relate to this person's story. And then I will pick another person. Maybe it's a second leader. Maybe it's a customer of mine that's super excited about Thrive and I'm trying to help them find their voice. Maybe it's one of my promoters I want to get excited. Maybe it's a promoter on another team that I just happen to love and I think they have a great story. So I will start a thread with this sampler, two Thrivers, and myself. I'm gonna introduce the sampler as a human with goals, challenges, and passions. And then I'm gonna introduce my friends as people first that relate to them on the human. So if it's a mom, I'm gonna choose another mom. If it's a, if my sampler says, I wanna a lot, I have someone right now, she says, I want uh, weight loss and digestion. Okay, well then I'm going to help you. I'm gonna introduce you to another mom that had the same challenges, the same wants, and how she met them with Thrive, okay? So I'm gonna say, hey, meet my friends. She is a mom of two as well. Oh my goodness, she remembers the crazy and the exhaustion, but listen to her story. It will just make your jaw drop. And then I will introduce another person and I'll tell them all to connect. Everyone will end up being Facebook friends and they will just constantly validate my post and each other's post while this person is going on with her experience with their sample. Um, the Thriver will naturally connect as humans and then they share their story. So first, um, I do this a lot with um, one person because she's, she's a nurse practitioner and she's awesome at connecting to people right where they are. And she's like, oh my goodness, I remember that, me too, me too. Well, let me tell you my story. And then she tells her Thrive story, very short, very simple. And it always addresses, I had a need, I found a solution, my solution was Thrive. Everyone gets excited in the thread. Honestly, it's very natural. When you share something life-changing, you're gonna get excited about it. Um, the leaders and the sampler, everyone gets their fire lit and they all friend request and they form actual genuine connections. These people end up saying later down the road, you know what, Thrive 
is great. It helps me feel great, but the people have changed my life. And for that, I will get fired up about it every single gosh darn day. I talk to my samplers daily. Once they get their sample, I, I track in the back office. I always use um, company samples. The really easy reason why is because I don't go to the post office. I will not go to the post office. So I use the company samples. <laughs> you do you, that's just what I do. Um, so always I talk daily. I'm like, okay, great. To set you up for success, put your capsules at the bedside table. We're gonna talk about this. What you're gonna do tomorrow morning is you're gonna take the capsules on an empty stomach. Don't just open your eyes, reach for that water. It's already there. Chug and feel it go all the way down, okay? And then I tell them the next morning when they've started, I say, I am so excited for you to start. I am so excited for you to yawn less today. I set the expectation right there without having to go through anything salesy, I just tell them, I'm excited for you to stop yawning today. What I think we don't realize often when we're thriving for so long is that no one knows what it feels like to thrive unless you're thriving. So I tell them, this is what you're looking for. And I have better, they have a better chance of finding it since they know what they're supposed to be looking for. Also, I follow up in the afternoon. Great, how'd it go? And I will always get excited for them. They say, I have a little bit of energy. That's, that's the most common one I have. I, don't, I only have a little bit of energy. And I say, that is amazing news. You have a little bit of energy on day one of your vitamins. Have you ever had energy before on any other vitamin regimen? I sure have it on day one. Well, I could do backflips for you. And this is a one-on-one -on -one messenger that I'm following up. When I have any news like that, I will always go back to that four-way messenger, drop it in, and we'll have a party because that's what's been exciting. They just got energy on day one of a sample. That's great news. Now, if they have a headache, we all have those people who detox or they're actually more tired. I say, you know what? That's great news because obviously it's working. Obviously it is getting your body to start detoxing itself. And sometimes, yeah, that's a little uncomfortable, but on the other side is clear skies. And I will always go back to that four-way messenger, turn everything into a positive, and my thrivers will validate me. And it will all be natural and everyone will be filled with hope and have their fire lit, okay? Oh, great. Okay. You started noticing a lot of my people start noticing day one or two. And I say, that's awesome. I know when I first started, I never wanted to run out. I felt so good. And I was like, I, don't leave me alone with my kids without thrive. <laughs> and I said, let me help you tonight to order. So you have a smaller gap or whatever you want to say with that. I offer to get, you know, right now, let's get your order in tonight. I don't want you to run out. I don't want you to stop feeling as good as you do right now. My mindset is just that everyone needs, deserves, and will eventually thrive when they're ready. Why wouldn't they? I never give up. And the biggest limiting factor I've ever, I've noticed in my journey with Thrive is that people don't understand that it's going to work for them right where they are, right where they are. They don't have to do a special diet. They don't have to do a bunch of different steps. They don't have to do all the things. They don't have to, it's simple three steps. And no matter where they are, they will feel better. Um, a lot of that I notice is a confidence thing. So if they don't say yes right away, I'm really not discouraged because I know they will say yes. I know they will. They, in my head, they are a thriver. So I give them, okay, where are you right now? Where are you? What, what is keeping you from thriving? And most times they're just going to tell me and they say, oh, you know, I just feel like I, I need to do this step first. And I say, great. How can I help you keep, keep you accountable? Can I check in with you? And that gives me a natural follow-up to build a relationship, to build trust, and to naturally follow up on them and let them know that you deserve to feel like this. And I don't have to be like, are you ready yet? Are you ready yet? 
I just say, where are you? And how can I help you where you are right now? And honestly, everyone wants Thrive. Everyone does feel something. They don't always understand what they're feeling, but they do feel something with Thrive. And what I've noticed is I've had some people say, I felt nothing. Well, guess what? They're thriving with me now because I know that's not true. They did feel something. They just didn't know what they felt. And it's my job to set the expectations and help them through it and know that they're worth it, know that they deserve it and help them get from point A to point B. That's Sorry. awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, so a couple of things that you shared that I just thought I want to touch on is that when people are experiencing a sample, they have to understand that it's three days worth of an eight week experience. It is not a three day experience. It is not. And I always, the way I explain that is I always say, this is not like a Red Bull or a coffee where you get everything you're ever going to get out of it the very first time that you drink it. This is something that you need to be putting in your body long-term to feel the full results and feel the full benefits. Um, the other thing is I, I always, I'm the same way. I'm a hundred percent that they're going to be a thriver. I know, I just don't know when I do not know when they're going to trust me and when they're going to have enough confidence. And for me, the biggest reason that I've seen that people are not ready to say yes is like you said, it's a lack of confidence. It's a lack of confidence in the, is this going to work for me? Is this going to make a difference for me? Is it actually going to do what it says it's going to do? Because we've all seen so many products marketed so well and not do what they say they're going to do. And so at the end of the day, when people are looking at their checkout and they're like, I'm about to spend this $150, am I going to feel better? Am I actually going to sleep better? And that's where, you know, third-party validations, three-way calls, three-way chats, their uh, fan page stories, like that's where you have to give them that confidence that this is going to make a difference for them. Um, and I, I want to share just a little bit about my own experience with samples, because when I got started, I did not take a sample. I did not get a sample. Nobody told me samples were even an option until after I'd been a promoter for a little while I had ordered. And I did take three times um, of putting all of the products in my cart before I placed that first order, because I had those same thoughts. Wow. Like I'm ordering enough for my husband and I, that's a lot of money right? Like, what is this? Like, what am, what am I really going to get out of this? And is it really going to do what, what my friend Lindsay told me that it was doing for her? Is it really going to do that for me? And what if it doesn't, right? All those things. So, um, but when I started sampling initially, I literally was giving samples out to anybody with a pulse, anybody that would message me back in any way. And I wasn't always giving away the free accounts. I wasn't always inviting them to like the fan page. I wasn't always sharing any reported calls. Um, and I surely was not doing three-way calls. And that's my advice to all of you guys. If you're doing sampling, make sure you do all of those things before they get that sample. And the three-way call is the end all be all as far as the best and most effective way to help someone really understand what they can expect from this product, third-party validation, how to take it, get their questions answered, all those things. So I cannot stress enough the importance of making sure they have a freak, all of the boxes get checked before they, before you mail that sample, because you will, they will tell you, I will give you my number and I will talk to you and all this. If you mail that sample before those things happen, you're probably not going to ever hear from them again. It's happened to all of us. So just make sure you check all the boxes before you mail the sample. Um, and then the one thing that I'm going to, I heard, this is not mine. This is something that came from the corporate zoom, but I loved it. I just thought it was so awesome. When you send out a sample, how many of us are like, okay, so did you take it right this morning? Right. You can never ask, did you take it right? Because the answer is always, well, of course I took it right. It's always, I, I go through, okay, walk me through how you took it. But the night before someone actually is starting their sample or starting their box, my capsules are ready on my nightstand are yours. I loved that suggestion. That's not something that I have ever done before. I just, I thought that was brilliant because they get to see, like I have them on my nightstand and here's my glass of water. I'm ready and excited. And then that way they understand like, oh, she's serious when she says before your feet hit the floor, right? She's serious when she says, take this before I get out of bed. Um, I'm going to throw it to Jamie because I know we want to talk a little bit about the, the promo that we're going to launch for the team. Becca, thank you so much. I cannot tell you how grateful I am that you've come on and shared with all of us and how um, just really thorough you are at covering how you're doing samples and how they can work. If you're spreading it, 
and you're doing it effectively, you can build momentum in your business. Just do it smart. Don't just throw them out like candy like I was. So thank you so much, Becca. Thanks, Kendra. So the couple things I wanted to hit on that um, was so I thought Becca just killed it with um, was um, the leading with confidence. I think that is huge. You know, you heard the confidence in her voice. She, did you notice she was reading her notes to, to share with us, but she still had major confidence reading the notes. So I thought that that was huge. And I loved the idea of putting four people into that group chat. You know, you put yourself and you put your sampler and then your two other people in there. Because right now, guys, people want a party, right? Like they want to have, they want community. They want to be around other people. And so you're, you plus your other two people are going to get your sampler excited. The other, the other thought process that I had as she was saying that is then they see, oh, wow, thrivers are fun. Maybe I do want to promote. Maybe I do want to be part of them. And you're also right away showing them how easy it is to promote, right? You're showing them, you're, you're, you're giving them the example of how easy it is to promote. So I love that. Um, I also love what she said about um, customers um, who need to find their voice. Like sometimes she'll put a customer into that four-way chat for customers that need to find their voice. So in her mind, she's thinking that customer is going to be a great promoter. I want her to start learning how to share her story. I mean, genius, right? Like those steps that we can easily be taking. Um, I mean, I have a, a whole page of notes that I loved and we'll, we'll be putting them into the team page and whatnot. And we, we are recording this. So make sure that your team members are going back and watching the recording. But, um, you know, I, I also want to want to remind you as we are going to launch this promo, and obviously this promo, you, you're going to be able to get points and all that. So I won't go through all the details because it's going to be way easier for you to read it. But um, but the, what I do want you to, to remember is that there are going to be points for each step of the way for you guys to earn. So please, please, please do yourself and all of us a favor by knowing what your week looks like and, and knowing what your time management looks like. Here's the deal, guys. If you get so excited and you're going to end this and you are going to go in and buy sample mail out credits and you're ready to go and you're going to send out 15 sample mail out credits in this week to win the promo. And But then you look at your schedule and you go, oh man, I have long days at work. My kids have dance. This one has a soccer game and you aren't going to have time to do this very detailed follow-up. 15 may not be a good number for you. So think about what your week looks like. Think about where you are going to be able to block time out to do this follow-up because guys, that is the key. You can have great intention. We all do, right? You can have great intention of getting those sample meal outs and you can even make, put, get, get them connected. You can get them on a three-way call. You can get them into that group. But if you're not sending that message before, if you're not looking and tracking the package, and seeing that, oh, the package is getting to them Tuesday. So I need to send that message Tuesday night with a picture of my capsules and my water bottle next to my bed and saying, hey, I have my capsules and water bottle next to my bed. Do you? You don't have time to do that Tuesday night? Then maybe it's not good for you to send out 15 this week. Maybe you need to just focus on, hey, you know what? Jamie's right. I have time to send out seven this week. I'm going to get seven people. So just making sure, look at your time, because what we don't want is for you guys to mass send out because you want to win a promo and you're, you're, you're excited, which I'm super excited about it, and then not be able to follow up. Because at the end of the day, the follow-up is what's going to get the order. The follow-up is what is going to get the order. The sample is not going to get the order. Okay, so we will be Kendra and I are working together all day today to um, to to post exactly how the promo is going to go. And then each day we are going to post that verbiage. We're going to remind you, hey, if you're doing the sample, the, if, if you have started our sample promo and you are doing this, please don't forget, check the tracking on the samples that you've mailed out today. Please don't forget that you need to send your customers that are going to start sampling tomorrow um, this message tonight and actually take a picture and just reuse it, forward it on. You don't have to take a new picture for every single person. It's super, that part's easy, but just making sure that you are following up. So whatever your tracking system is, get a tracking system set today and do not deviate from that tracking system. I don't care if your tra tracking system is a, is a notebook next to your phone. I don't care if 
you do the recipe box, make sure that you're following your tracking system. So you know exactly where people are, because guys, even let's be real. Even if we send out seven, sa seven sample mail outs today, they're going to get to people at different times, depending on where they live, which distribution center they're sending out of. People are going to start them. I, I just gave a sample with two samples out last night at our Thrive After Five. And I thought the, they were going to start tomorrow morning. And, and I messaged her last night and she said, oh, you know what? We're doing science camp with the kids. And so we're not going to start until when we get back from science camp. Okay, no problem. I have it on my calendar to make sure science camp, the, the kids get home Wednesday night from science camp that I'm going to be messaging her Wednesday night, but it's on my calendar. So anyway, we went longer than we wanted to go. So um, again, we will put all of the details on both of our team pages. If you're on my team, you have the opportunity to win twice. Um, and, uh, and I think if you're on Teresa Karen's team, you have the opportunity to win three times because I know Teresa is going to be piggybacking. I know a lot of leaders who are going to be piggybacking. Um, and that is a smart thing to do, guys, if you're going to be um, piggybacking like that. Let's see. Shelly James, if you just want to uh, oh, Shelly James is going to be piggybacking too for her team. So that's what it was. So, um, so guys, let us know if you have questions. Kendra and I are around all day. We're here to help you. We want to help you. You know that. Um, we are available for your three-way calls and absolutely available if you want to start your party in those chats. And guys, if you're at that spot where you're like, gosh, I don't have that confidence. I'm not quite sure. Let's talk about it. Let's get you there. Let us help you. That's where the three-way chat would be, or the, the four-way chat in that group would be great because get a couple of people that have a little bit more confidence that you than you lean on our confidence, use our confidence, and you're going to be there before you know it and believe that because we believe that in every single one of you. So have a great Saturday, guys. Again, let us know whatever we can do to help. Kendra, thanks for joining me today. I'm super excited about kicking this off. And I know all of us are going to be popping crazy ranks in April because we are going to end March on such a high note and focusing in on sampling people the rest of March and the beginning of April to just explode April. And we'll all meet and thrive Palooza and celebrate that. So guys have a great Saturday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.